Hey guys, Devin Scribe here, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about traveling with your hamster. Um, it's really not a good idea to travel with your hamster because you know how sensitive they can be, and being out of their element is always kind of scary, and um, it's just very stressful to them. And what stress does to a hamster is causes their immune system to lower. They can get sick, and... Um, it's just not, it's really not safe for a hamster to be in a stressful environment that frequently. But sometimes we do have to travel with our hamster. You might have to go to the vet. You might have to go to um, visit a family or friends for a weekend. Um, you might need to take your hamster to school or work. And so I'm just going to show you some tips on how to travel with your hamster. And what I have here is um, a carrier and then I have a um, like a little fleecy bed and these um, are great to have the carrier is something that is you know necessary to have for traveling with their hamster but the little bed is nice because if you are at a guest's house or something and you want to play with your hamster you don't want them going potty on things so when you get your hamster out of the carrier to play with them you can have a little play time in here and just put this on your lap and um and just kind of maintain your hamster in this little area so that it doesn't bother any of your um of the people that you're visiting the fact that you have your hamster out they might get nervous or something so this kind of keeps it contained and it's nice and soft and you know I usually I use this also when I'm sitting on the couch watching TV I'll put her in here on my lap and just kind of play with her and feed her treats inside and stuff just to have some like kind of cuddle time so these are great this is the um, you know the size of probably um, I don't know maybe a ferret or a guinea pig but they're great for hamsters it gives them a tiny space to sit on your lap and run around in and you can interact with them in an enclosed space so if you have one of these you should bring it with you when you travel that way you can bring your hamster out and put and hold them without other people getting nervous about it um this is the the something that's required there are all kinds of hamster travel cases and carriers out there and um, the most you're going to find will probably be online um, like on Amazon or Petco.com um, or Pets at Home or uh, PetSmart. All those different type places have great carriers. I got this one. Um, I don't know the brand name. I'm sorry, but this is the one you can find on Amazon.com for sure. And this carrier is pretty large you know for a hamster and also inside you can see it's made of um, it has like a, a plastic inside you don't want you can see she chewed here a little bit and this is before I got the insert so this is the insert this is something you're gonna have to have for hamsters because they will chew on this but let me just finish showing you the outside this is a zipper so it zips open and you can open it like that it has an air vent on this side it has an air vent on this side and then on this side it has a little snapping pocket so you can put things in there food, um, treats, whatever and then this side also opens so I usually don't open this side I leave this side kind of for the back because it has the little um, snapping pocket on it so I like to leave that like that but um, so if you do have a hamster, a gerbil, a mouse um, something small that likes to chew you're going to need to buy one of these inserts and you can also get these um, online at amazon.com and I got my insert from Petco so I did I got this from Amazon and this from Petco and all it does is a very very small cage as you can see um, with an opening right there and um, this is simply for travel obviously you're not going to um, use this for anything to live in but um, for travel it's great and what you want to do when you're getting ready to travel is to put um, your hamster in here quite frequently if you know you're going to be leaving in four days to go somewhere then you want to every night for a little while 
set this all up and put your hamster in here and get them used to it. So before you put your hamster in, what you're going to do is you're going to put some used bedding. Make sure that it's not too dirty. Maybe a day or two after you've changed the bedding in your cage, grab some bedding from the cage. That way it's going to have your hamster scent on it and they're not going to feel so far away from home. And you're just going to put a nice amount of bedding in here. And then what you're going to want to have is some sort of a hideaway, a house, a hut, one of their little houses that they don't use or something. What I'm going to use is this really thick roll and I'm just going to set that in there. Um, they really are going to need somewhere to hide because obviously they are going to be pretty traumatized by the fact that they're moving around and I'm just stuffing bedding in here. So you want to put a little bedding in the in the little house that you're using. Um, the next thing you want to do is don't put a food bowl, don't put a potty litter box, don't put much in here that can move around and hurt them or fall on them while you're traveling. So, But you do want to bring some food. So I like to keep my food in these little jars and I'll just bring along this food. And before you go, just sprinkle some food in the corner or something and then pack this with you when you go. Make sure you have enough food for your hamster for the time that you'll be gone. And make sure there's food in the cage when you travel. The next thing that you're gonna wanna add is some of the hamster's favorite chew toys. So I'm just gonna add this little Ecotrician Cheesy Chew and this little um, wooden apple chew and just leave those in there. That way if your hamster does come out they won't get bored and they're used to these. This is something that would make them feel comfortable. And besides bringing the food, you're also going to want to bring cucumber. And this is not cucumber. I don't have cucumber right now, but it, this is to show you that you have to bring cucumber. And what you're going to do is slice it up and put cucumber in. And I would say if you're slicing a little piece of cucumber into maybe fourths, you're going to want to give them one-fourth of that every hour because that's going to be their water supply. Now you're also going to want to bring their water bottle with you and maybe hook it up when you get to your destination. But you're not going to want to ride around with this water bottle. So during your travel, every hour they're going to need a little more cucumber and that's going to supply them with water. Okay, so whenever you get your cage all set up, then you'll want to put your hamster in each night, maybe even about 10 minutes, and just get them used to it. And even if you're not going to travel, if you're just having playtime with your hamster, you might want to just pop them in here and get them used to it sometimes. And that way, if you have any emergencies and have to leave home, you can pop your hamster in here and they'll be used to their travel cage and it won't be as stressful for them. Okay? So that's what you're going to do to set up your travel case. Now, like I said, when you travel, you'll want to bring some kind of a blanket or um, something you can hold your hamster in to where you're not going to be um, holding, letting them run around free whenever they're away. And you also, what I like to do is bring my ball with me because I usually don't bring a wheel when I travel and they really are going to need exercise when they travel and we don't do ball time very often usually when my hamster's out she is in her playpen and playing on her um, on her flying saucer or her wheel or other forms of exercise like that I usually don't use a ball that often but it's great for traveling because you um, can use it to let make sure that they're getting their daily exercise. So that is um, what I do to travel with my hamster and again it's not recommended that you travel that frequently but you might as well get some supplies and be ready in case you ever have to do it. Um, the best way to do it if you're going out of town is get a babysitter for your hamster, someone that can take care of your hamster in her own home cage. But if that's not possible, I think that these are some good tips, and I hope you guys learned a little bit from it. Thank you, and please um, like, 
subscribe, request, and comment below if you have any tips or questions. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.